Hello and welcome to this quick Excel tip from ICAW. If you want to find out more about ICAW's Excel community, you can go to icw.com slash join Excel or click the link in the description. Today we're going to be having a look at three common reasons why your formulas might not be calculating the way you expect, as well as how to fix them. First of all, let's have a look at this example. We've got a simple loan repayment calculator. We've created both our opening balance and our schedule of payments. We have a formula here that deducts the payment from the opening balance and another formula here that just rolls forward the closing balance. However, if I then go to copy my formulas down the table, they all return 900. They don't seem to be calculating the result, even though the formulas appear to be in good working order. The problem here is calculation settings. You can tell at the formulas tab, calculation options, we have got here manual calculation set. This is often used in larger workbooks to prevent processors slowing down your Excel, but it means that your formula results are only updated when manually prompted by pressing calculate now or pressing F9. You can either do that or go to formulas calculation options, change the formulas back to automatic, and if you do that you'll see that all of your formulas will now calculate correctly. Our second issue is like so. We've got a variety of products that we've sold in this particular order, the quantity of items and the price of each that we've sold. And we've tried to make a formula for the total sales value, but we're not actually seeing a calculation happening here. Instead, the formula itself is typed in the cell. If we try to copy it, we just get more text values. Nothing is actually happening. The problem here is that these cells are formatted as text, which you can detect from home and looking at the format menu here. And that means that anything typed into them is treated as text, even if it might normally be considered a formula. We can fix this by changing the format to something else, such as general, but that doesn't immediately fix the formula that we've already typed because Excel is still thinking that this is text. We can fix that either by clicking into the cell and then leaving it, or if we've got several of these written, we can use replace and we can replace equal sign with the equal sign, that won't actually change anything, but it will, if we replace all, cause Excel to look at the cell again, realize that that's supposed to be a formula and convert it so that we then see a value which we can copy down to make our final result. And our third common cause is circular references. Here we've got a small PL for an entity which uses a cost plus basis. So it's a subsidiary that's just uh, been provided revenue from its parent based on a percentage value of its costs. However, its costs includes the taxes which are charged on the final profits, and so we are seeing a circular reference. The revenue depends on the profit before tax, the tax depends on the pro profit before tax, the profit after tax depends on that. So all of these numbers are circular. This means that Excel is unable to calculate a result. You can enable circular references, which will allow iterative calculation from the option setting, but usually the better solution is instead to rework the calculation using a bit of mathematics so that you don't need to create a situation like this where one cell essentially depends on its own value as an input and creating that loop. It's easy to find circular references from uh, formulas, error checking, circular references. You can find where those circular references exist and alter and remove them to prevent this problem. So that's a look at some common issues with why formulas might not be calculating from ICAW's Excel community. Don't forget you can find out more about the Excel community and join to get all of our tips, blogs, webinars and online training at icaw.com slash join Excel or you can follow the link in the description.